Hello, my name is Quentin Brown from businessmobilewebsite.com and in this tutorial we're going to show you how to use a script we've just found built in PHP. Now our course teaches you how to build HTML graphical style websites like this. However, when we're developing our mobile website business, it's very important to have different options for your customers. And so I'm continually downloading templates and looking for more information for you. And this is a particularly good script if you want a simple PHP site. My friend Will has already created the script and everything to go with it. And it makes building a mobile website very easily using PHP. And this is what you start off with once you download the program. We'll put a link down underneath this video for this script. And it's very easy to use, even if you don't know anything about PHP. You can use it for multiple customers. And as we teach you, we want to build profitable mobile website business. And having built over 400 mobile websites and training over 1,500 people how to build their own mobile website businesses, we're always looking for new systems to add to our portfolio so we can provide a wide range of mobile websites for our customers. Now, because it's in PHP, most PHP people would probably use something like a notepad or a text editor to change all the different values. However, I found if you want to download SharePoint Designer 2007, it's now a free program and it's really just an upgrade on the old front page. And it allows us to edit the files very easily. And I'll put the link for this underneath this video. When you download Will's program, you'll get the redirection script for these excellent videos, how to customize the website for your customer. However, as I said, most of them require you to know a little bit about using text programs. By using our SharePoint Designer, we can go through and adjust these files very easy. So the first thing we do is just go New, we go to Website, we want an empty website, and I'm going to put it in my D drive and a mobile site, and I'm going to put it under Will. And so I've already created the folder, and OK. The next thing I did was I just created another folder and took all the files out of the template and put it in here so I can go back and use the same one over and over again. So I just go Control C, I go to my mobile sites, and you can put it in any folder you like. Go to my new Will folder that's empty and just go Control V. Now if I do a refresh on that, we'll see all those folders. First thing I want to do is I want to link this up to my server. You don't have to do this, you could just use them in here directly. However, I like to upload it all onto my server so I can view it in real time. Because unless you're running a PHP server on your computer, it's very hard to view them. So we just go Publish Site. So I'm going to upload it to my key mobile info. My public directory is public HTML and I'm just going to load it in a folder called Will and go OK. It's then going to ask you for the username and password that you would use for your FTP program. So we'll just put that in. It's also important at the beginning there you use FTP. And we're just going to publish to our website. And as you can see, it's uploading them all now. Now that we've done this, we can either view it in a simulator or just view it in a straight site. Now remember, a mobile site's going to be a lot smaller than this. And so we can actually drag our web browser down to see basically how it would look like on a mobile site. The first thing we need to do is go through and find our details PHP. And because it's PHP, we can't actually see this. So we just go to the code view. And what we need to do then is just go through and change all these attributes for our new business. So let me just go and do that now quickly for you. And so here's the company we're building the mobile website. It's called Estate Winery, Lorita Estate Winery. Now, I've gone over the 40 characters, but that's all right. I've created an image for them, and it's called Estate Winery. And so to bring that in, all I do is go File, Import File, Add the file, 
and here it is here and OK. Get rid of this thumbs and then I've also put in Old Federal Highway, Lake George there, email, their number and this will populate then all through their website. I can just close that. The other file that he suggests you change is the style CSS and so in this, this, this controls all the colour system. And so I'm using a hex color finder and I'll put the link down below for this and I want to use this maroon color. So I just use my eyedropper, control C. If you want to see what a color, which color we're looking for, you can just go drop it on here and we're replacing 608080. And so here it is here. I just changed that color and so I could also find out what this color is. So it's EE. -E. So it's EEE, -E -E. so here it is here. So if I want to change that background color, I can then just go and change the color. One other thing I like to do is just add a little bit more code to the style CSS so the image is a stretch and fit. So if we actually shrink this down, you'll notice he hasn't got that in there. So if it actually goes to a smaller phone, this graphic doesn't change. So I'm just going to add a little bit more code in here. And so I've added this pick code here and I've added it three times because it's what we call an ID code. And to keep it validated, we need to be able to add a different one for each page as we add graphics. And so I've just added three. You can add as many as you like. It's just a matter of copying and pasting it and giving it a new number. Do a save. The other file that we need to change is in here. And these are all these links to the PHP files. So as you can see, callback, and this is the page for callback. If we wanted to change that, we can actually change the information in all of these. So you can add or delete as many as you like. So rather than call this FAQ, let's call it Wines and change this to Wines. And then we need to change this file here to Wines so it references it properly. Okay, so you can, as I said, you can copy and paste these, move them around, change the position of them. So let's move this one up to the second place. So we just go Control X. V. If you're changing this one, you only change that information there. Don't touch this information here. And so now we've created a wind. So now we can go through and do a publish and it will just publish the ones we've changed. So as you can see, it's going to change details, index and wind. Just ask if we want to remove the FAQ and we'll go yes to all. So now, as you can see, we've changed the whole color scheme. Once again, we can reduce it down. However, the image still isn't shrinking and fitting. So we just need to open up our index file, go to design, click on the image and as you can see down here now, we have our pick one, two, three. We just apply the pick to that file and go save. Now we can go publish again. So now if we do a refresh, we'll see that it now shrinks and fits to the website. And it's about as small as most smartphones get. Let's just go and do something for our wines. So let's go in here and edit our wines page that we made. And so as long as we don't change any of the PHP, we can change any of the text that we see, etc. So I'm going to go and just delete all this here. I'm just going back to my customer's websites and I'm just going to copy this text here. It's very important when putting text in here that you first put it in a text editor to get rid of any formatting and just copy it in V. And because we took all of the formatting out, it was, it's come up quite well. We can now add another one and say the, the vineyard. We can make it bold. Let's bring in another picture, picture of the vineyard. So we can just drag that on there, give it a name. Make sure you give it an alt text. We can apply our pick one to it. Just click on it and apply pick one. We'll go into a full size. 
let's call this the winery and obviously we could put some text in here let's go and pick the color up the top here go OK and do the same for vineyard so it's all nice and do another insert let's go and import an image of the winery now I've optimized these graphics now I've already used pick one so I can't use it again so I need to use oh, sorry I've already used pick so I need to use pick one for this one so I'll just go to the winery and take out a little bit of information there go back into here make sure I paste it first into my notepad and now I can paste it in there I don't want it that color so I want it black I also don't want it bold and so now we have a nice site Now we want to publish to the web and see here that it's going to upload the wines also upload the images that we've added so now we can go back home here go to the wines page and here it all is nicely laid out for us and so that's really all there is to using this great script and you can just change everything all within this program very simply and upload it to your server to show your client so just in that very short time we've been able to take his site from this to this and made a very nice mobile website now as I said you can remove some of these pages or change them around whatever you want just a matter of going through and having a look hope you enjoyed this tutorial be sure to come and visit us at business mobile websites and as I said I'll put the link for wheel script and the tools that we use under this video my name is Quentin Brown thanking you very much